Hey everybody, Juice here, your host of all the battle reports here at the Long War, where we always keep it icy. Big special shout out and thanks to all the Long War veterans. If you haven't already, stop what you're doing, head on over to longwar.net and become a veteran of the Long War today. To my right, Daniel Jaswin, fast and ready painting, ninja service painting, paint everything model related and some that aren't. You've got one of your main armies that you're playing right now. Your single main army. Yeah, that's all I play. There it ITC, is. ITC, trying to get to the top. Climbing the ranks of the best orc players is your goal. I got the best orc at ATC. You did. Congratulations. ATC was an absolute blast, and the best orc player in the history of ever is to my right. So uh, let's see exactly, exactly what's in his orc list. Let's talk about it. Fungus among us to kill the Tyranids. So what we got going on here today with the orcs is we have a battalion led by Tank Throa himself, custom war boss that I made. He's got the head wampus kill choppa, um, so he comes in, does a lot of mortal wounds. Um, I've got four squads of boys, three squads of 25, one with shooters. So if I uh, to, to to deal with screens, I can jump them and then daka daka and shoot. It usually works pretty well to kill those guard screens and so forth. Uh, then I got a squad of 15 boys that will ride with Tank Thrower and uh, Big Lady herself, Helga. Uh, she's really good for soaking up a lot of drops. Uh, orcs have that problem with a lot of things because they drop a lot. Um, so she, you put all the HQs in with her and then you can drop them out uh, turn one. And also protects them really well. Um, so I have a squad of 20 Storm Boys. They're really fast, they're good for tying up units uh, to keep from shooting at me as I go forth, kind of like a first wave kind of thing. Uh, two Daka Jets, they're real good for recon behind enemy lines. Um, they can snipe out characters too, if someone leaves them open. Um, basically it's 18 assault cannon shots, and if they shoot everything at the same target, they hit on fours, which is pretty decent for orc shooting. Uh, I have three, one dead Big Mac. I have three custom mega cannons. Um, they're really good. They're basically battle cannons. Uh, they shoot uh, on a four up because they're uh, shot by grots. Um, and then again to the big lady. She is amazing. Uh, I think the swarm lord's 300 points. She is 413. Toughness 8, 35 wounds. Um, and when she charges, she charges big. Anything within an inch of her when she charges on a 2-up takes d6 mortal wounds and then she gets 8 attacks at strength 12, negative 4 d6 damage. It's really good. Uh, you kind of Tokyo Drifter in there, try to get as many things in as possible. Uh, yeah. So this is the WA and it's uh, come to till, kill some bugs. Ooh, it feels good to be back in the Beats Lab. Hot off the heels of ATC, and what better way to bring that in than all my favorite models in my entire book, plus an index. So let's start here, okay? I know we've seen this before, but this is, I think, one of the most optimized versions. We have a total of eight rock saws dug in there. We have um, a Primus, a Magus, uh, a uh, banner, so that means everybody's going to be hitting on twos, reroll ones. Uh, might from below, that means plus one strength, plus one attack for all those rock sauce. Um, and for anybody who doesn't know, these are the best gene sealers in the history of ever because led by this Primus right there with a single point stratagem, I'm going to be able to be rolling three dice, re-rolling any dice that I need, um, fishing for those fives and sixes. So uh, that is my patrol detachment. Let's not overlook the big fatty in the room, the most beautifulest beast ever. Her feelings matter. The uh, Scythe Teradul. So, fast as shit. We've seen it before. Um, we're going to try it out one more time in a little bit more of an optimized list because I'm not don't have a 435 point uh, barbed Teradul sitting next to me. So, either way, Kraken, super heavy auxiliary detachment. Then we have a battalion. All Kraken all day, led by Swarm Lord. If you see Swarm Lord anywhere, it's always going to be Kraken. Swarm Lord, a Brood Lord. We have three squads of Gene Stealers. We have two squads of 16, one squad of 15, five Hive Guard, not six. I had to find a few points, and four Ravengers, all Scything Talent out. So I want to talk about a couple things. The speed in this army is unbelievable he has a base move of 18 inches with his in advance so that means if I crack and strategy him he automatically moves 24 inches and can still charge 3d6 discarding the lowest uh, an absolute torpedo 
Scud missile coming at you. Um, these gene sealers are no joke as well. This army is a all alpha strike if need be. I will put them on the back line if I have to. I'm going to be reserving some units, still having some okay firepower. Um, at this point, I'm, I'm going to call myself out and say it is so hard for me to pull the trigger and not have Hive Guard that they are my crutch. We have a lot of firsts when people come in that haven't been in in a while and stuff, but a first. Gargantuan squig off in this beat slap. I think only our second or third org player ever also throughout the multiple years. Um, wow, that is a gorgeous model. It's big. Give us, give everybody at home creepy looks and stares. <laughs> if you can use your words. <laughs> uh, she's awesome. She's fast. She's big. She's tough. She's literally 100 points more than your swarm. I mean, it is unbelievable. Dude, toughness 8, is that right? Toughness 8, Higher toughness, wounds. triple the wounds. Swarm Lord is only 12 wounds. Toughness 7. She is an absolute animal. Um, I love it. She has a carrying capacity. Oh, yeah, 20. You know, I know you talked about it in your list breakdown, but how ridiculous is that, that you can just shove every character in there? And get down to 10. And get down to 10. Like I, I, For an orc army. I don't think I've ever played a knit army that gets down to 10. Space Marines have more than 10. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'm talking about, like, that is amazing. We know what happens when orcs go first. Right? They, like, they, they, board control is huge. You know, you actually, if people get, if people get testy on the gun line, you can reach out and touch on oh, turn yeah. one. Yeah. You know. I love um, it. That's, a, a lot of times people just underestimate it. Because they they still they're stuck in the mindset of like sixth and seventh edition where mm -hmm. orcs were just you know you just throw mm -hmm. everything at them shooting wise and they just die. Mm -hmm. um, so but she helps a lot. She takes a lot of the firepower off the other stuff in my army. Yeah, I mean, and to be honest, at a cheap four hundred and what? Four hundred and thirteen points. Wow. I mean, I think that is a steal. Dishes out mortal wounds. Unreal. Negative four close combat attacks. Yeah, and it might be one of the coolest models that I've actually put my eyes on. I love it. Yep. Um, so, it's one of my favorites. Yep, that is great. I, I'm excited about that. So, all right, let's talk about uh, ITC missions. That's what we're running. That's what everybody in the universe is playing. Why not? And it, they're really, really fun. So, um, secondaries. Let's go through them real quick. I'm going to pick kill your characters. Uh, you have a billion of them. I'm going to pick yeah. kill a billion models. I also have a few of those. <laughs> you have some of those as well. Um, and then my last one, I believe, will be Recon. Re recon? Yep. Um, and then what about for you? Uh, I'll take Recon because okay. of board presence. Board control, Absolutely. obviously. And then uh, Behind Enemy Lines, the deck jumps help a lot with that. And then uh, Old School, just because I really feel like I can... Uh, bank on all that stuff. Yeah, absolutely. So awesome. Well, guys, we know. Oh, um, I think we decided. Oh, yeah, the Nexus Control Node or yeah, something. Yeah, I think four. it's Mission Three with four objectives. Yeah. So, um, and it's Dawn of War deployment. So, yeah, let's figure out um, how this whole game is going to play out. Veterans, we have deployed. We're going to uh, go into a little detail here for you. Um, so I'm going to talk about my deployment before uh, Daniel gets on his. First, we don't know who's going first yet. We haven't rolled that. So uh, Swarm Lord, when I play him, he is always on the gun line. He is always ready. Far forward as possible because his Warlord trait says after you determine who goes first before the first battle round, you can redeploy this model. So if I know I'm going first, he's Torpedo Central, right? If I'm not going to go first, I always find a nice little gap for him. And I put that in my deployment strategy, right? So either way, um, I want to talk about it. I've got utilized some of this um, line of sight block and terrain. This model is so big. I looked. I can't get down and hide anywhere. So guess what? On the gun line you go. Um, hive guard are taken up. I don't uh, uh, taken out the circle around for swarm lord just in case. Lastly, I'm gonna talk about the gene stealers. Um, sometimes. Uh, Daniel doesn't have as many guns, so I am okay not having to press them because of how fast they are, because of stratagems, because of Swarm Lord. I will pull them back, not on the gun line per se, um, just to kind of keep them alive just a little bit longer. Daniel, what you got? So with orcs, you always want to centralize your deployment around the KFF, obviously. Um, the big thing is Storm Boys up front so they can go try to hold up units or break some down for the rest of the boys to get there. Um, 
she, obviously she's not hiding anywhere. So you kind of put her on the front. Um, Daniel, you know what I'm, I'm noticing here? We have a stare down. We do. We have a, a, a Robbie B. Do you see this? We have um, the brightest shining star in all the universe staring down. Helga. The beast from the east. You know she's gonna win. Just so you know, she's an orb. We'll see. Okay. Uh, two. All I'm gonna tell you is I'm gonna say this one time. Speed might be better than girth. The turtle won the race, juice. <laughs> what do you got? Two, two Taka Jets in the corner over here. Uh, they're going to try to take behind enemy lines and then get back here to start taking out the Gene Steelers because Gene Steelers died just like orcs to shooting. Um, the KFFs, so the big thing, or the KMKs, the big thing with them is the, well, you only have to have one Gretchen within three inches of them. So you can literally string out all the Gretchen and he's got the Gene Steeler Colt so you want to keep them off the main force of your orcs so you can counter react to them. Um, so that's another thing they're good for. And then obviously I put all the characters in and a 10 orc, 10 drop orc army is uh, pretty good. It's really good. So it gives me the plus one. All right, if you will pick your, oh, and then also we've got objectives. As soon as Daniel moves, we we're squared these up here a little bit. This is ITC mission number three, mm -hmm. the um, Nexus Control. And I want to shout out, uh, Daniel, these are actually made for you mm -hmm. from dreamtea.store. Little did they know that they're going to be on camera today. Yeah. Um, sales of this item is about to go up. Yeah. But so um, I want to talk about this. This is an objective. It is. Ladies and gentlemen, you're like, what the fuck is that mice pa mouse pad? Like, no, check it out. So that is an objective. If you are touching this, that means the objective's in the center. Uh, and if you're touching this, you hold the objective. Yeah. It's clear cut. It can't get no more precise. There's no arguing or anything like that. It's, it's pretty smart. What do you want to argue? Nothing. Nothing. This is literally, you know, how it goes. So, again, this is the easiest way for anybody who wants to measure from the center of objective. GW wants us to play that way. Well, guess what? This is exactly from the center of this objective. Out is three inches. Get close. That's how we're playing. That's how we're doing. Now that we've got all that other stuff out of the way, let's get some dice rolling, Daniel. You get the plus one, honey. Uh, two plus one. It's three. three. All right. So, you get it. Um, gosh. You want to know what? Um, are you, you're obviously going to go first? Uh, yes. Okay, so what I'm thinking is, um, I, I think I'm just going to bite the bullet and not. I think I'm prepared to go second. So with that meaning, um, I'm going to go ahead and redeploy Swarmy to his protected location, said there. Um, and I'm going to uh, hold it tight, Shining Star. Hold strong. So with first turn here, uh, we know she's a lot faster than Helga. So what we're going to try to do is we're going to bring the Stormblades up here and try to screen her out. That way she will come in, possibly kill all the Stormboys, and then I can counter charge with Helga. Um, we're going to kind of get board control here because we know that his Gene Steeler Colts are coming in. So we're going to spread out a little bit and kind of push him out. I like it. Play the actual mission. So many people get away from that. Right, and it's it's real hard with orcs. Most people are just like, oh, I play orcs. I gotta charge. Go. No, that's not what you want to do. So we're gonna showcase the big mech zap guns, blowing up the aliens. It's gonna be great. So I got six shots hitting on fives, three hits, and then now I gotta determine the strength. The strength is two d six. Uh, he's toughness eight, so I'm gonna command point this one and it got worse so I need five to wound uh, no wounds so if that would have wounded it would have been negative four four damage um, so it would have hurt him a little bit and then also I just want to touch on uh, one of the one of the weird boys got out and as I said before board control he jumped all these shooter boys here and they are going to kill some gene stealers now Daniel I want you to know how glad I was out of my 16 man unit um, you were one kill off. I have one gene stealer left. He is chilling right there. Um, the rest is the other 16 man. The ridiculous firepower that one billion shots from the DACA jet and these other um, shooter boys was really tough. Uh, and then what else? Two Ravengers. Two Ravengers. Two out of the four was done by that other. Um, Turns out work shooting is good in mass. Yeah. No, it actually, it, I mean, again, some people laugh. You just killed uh, 208 points. 
of gene stealers that will never get to do anything. So right. either way, but it was more important that is the the one gene stealer rule them all because in ITC that means you sir did not get a point for killing something. Correct. On turn one. It's unfortunate. If I were a gene stealer, I would be very happy right now because there's a lot of targets that is, are in my face. I'm excited about it. Um, I do know that if I go one for one, I can kill a unit. If I go two for one, he will interrupt me and kill one of my units before I can swing. So it's time to pick and choose my battles. We are going to go minus one to hit. I'm looking to the unit behind. That's what I've learned with playing orcs is that the stuff in front of you will die. It's the stuff that is about to hit you that is going to kill you next. So we're going to try to make that unit minus one from the horror. That does not go off. Um, gosh, I need a six. I'm going to command point reroll it. Yeah. Jeez, my weird boy's here. So I'm going to take a, ch a shot at uh, yeah, trying to stop absolutely. it. absolutely. Uh, Eight does no, not do it. No, I'll leave it. There's no point in command. Okay. So I have seven CP left, uh, excuse me, six CP because I did crack in advance uh, one of my units. Um, so that is fast and ready. We're gonna roll right into a combo that I have lined up. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, real quick shoot these high guard at this flyer. Now these aren't cracking, look at these, well, excuse me, these are not chronos, so all those ones that I did roll, I don't get to reroll. Um, and I am hitting on fours because this flyer's minus one. I'm wounding on threes. Man, Daniel, one, five up save. There are three up armor? Uh, four up. Four so up. Six up? Six up save. That is a no D3 damage. Three. So down to nine? Down to nine. Check this out. We're going to stay right here. I wanted to do a little more than that, but nine was, uh, three wounds was my uh, kind of minimum. So this flamer from the most beautiful star in the galaxy is going to go here. 2D6 shots. Ha <laughs> ha. 10. Come to find out, I have 10 dice ready. Strength 6, homie. Toughness 6. Looking for 4s. Shine, you beautiful star. Now, um, these are all D3 damage, minus 1. So okay. these are 5 up saves, 5 of them. I'll take that. So 2D3. So I now, 2D3, and I need to get to 9. Check this. I'm going to burn 2 CP to give each one of uh, her uh, damage D3 plus one. Agents of X. Yes, you're using it. Orcs, believe it, they achieve <laughs> it, right? So right now I am at a minimum of three damage plus three D3. She gone, two, four, oh six, exactly plus three. I love it when a plan comes together. Pow. But does the orc crappy construction blow up? It does not. Don't do it to it me! <laughs> Don't do it to me! Damn it, so, so what is that, D3 damage? D3, yeah. Okay. So D3 to him, two, you to and then source. if you want to roll for my sure. boys. Sure. You take two. Oh no. Alright, so you have taken two, that means she's only got 20 left. Good job. Man, a lot has been going on. I, I just want to keep telling everybody. But so uh, this is really cool. So this is why we're we're in. So these gene stealers came up and obliterated the twenty storm boys, right? So uh, they went ahead and spent three CP because I declared uh, the storm boys and this unit. So uh, I consolidated my three inches. I went ahead and um, uh, spent my three CP. So I only have two left now, and they're about to swing in and hopefully do some more damage to them. I wasn't able to get everybody in, so. Um, you know, there'll still be some live, but you know, a lot less some. But what I want to talk about is I'm going to utilize at this point a stratagem called Overrun. I find myself, this Broodlord finds himself successfully outside of a, a combat that was won by me, no enemies around, burn one CP, I have one left. I get to move in advance as if it was the movement phase, free 18 inches because he moves eight. And out of the Kraken 3D6 pick the highest, I did roll a six. So you keep all those rolls. And now he's going to get out, he's going to get his ass out of harm's way, park near this objective, and hide from those big guns. Wow, what a good turn. In all reality, this is what this army does. Damn it, I did it to the best of its ability. I had a monster turn. I hold more, I killed more, I held something, I killed something, I'm dug in, I killed a flyer, which I was kind of worried about because they can just be really pesky, right? I was able to pick up mobs of orcs so far. Also, two squads of Gretchen are gone. How many do you have left? 
Uh, I got two five-man squads. From so you're guns. telling me once I kill ten more Gretchen, no more guns? What do you? You're not gonna have anything. To All do. I'm saying is I just need facts. <laughs> That's that ten is correct. Ten more Gretchen down, and I will get rid of the guns. Because those guns are scary, as you can tell. I'm wasting TP to keep them alive. I've seen them kill every hive tyrant that I've ever played. Um, so feeling positive. Finish in turn one. It's up to Daniel to see what these boys can do on turn two. All right, this is a big, big turn. The nids are fast. Uh, we got to get them off of us. So the plan is kill her and these two squads of gene stealers. I think I can do it. Um, we're going to come over here with one of the weird boys. We're going to jump them out of combat and come over here and shoot at these guys. Um, these boys should be able to take care of them. And then again, just push this way for behind enemy lines. And then also we got to be aware that he still has those rock saws and reserves. Helga wants nothing to do with them, so I'm going to try to block him out. Here it is, Juice. Monster Bash, Mash, mm -hmm. Squigoth on whatever that ugly bug is. Here it is. So when she charges, when she's within an inch, she does D6 mortal wounds on a 2-up. Is it to uh, all friendly? Uh, no, but I will <laughs> I will command point reroll that. One. Okay. And then you take D6 mortal wounds. Four. Okay. I'll take that. And then on top of that, she has eight attacks. Is it just enemy models? Yeah. She doesn't hurt. No. Somehow she's graceful to her own. She's she's a graceful beast. It looks like it. All right. Continue with the ballerina, please. Okay. <laughs> so hitting on threes. That was really bad. No rerolls, right? No. You might live through this. I hope to. Strength twelve. I'm toughness eight. Okay. So threes. Uh, so those are three at minus four. I can't do anything okay. about it. D6 damage. Ooh. Yay. So seven plus the four, so 11. 11. I have two wounds left. Oof. I'm limping on my graceful ass. Here we go. Hitting on fives back. I get to reroll ones because I have big ass scything talons. Yes. Strength eight. Toughness eight. Fours. Both of them. Both of them. That's, Damn it. that's a one and two. All right. So, um, yep, there's that. And I went ahead and swung back over here. Every gene stealer is dead, as Daniel talked about. Uh, and my brood lord uh, is still alive. So it was a good turn for the greenskins. Uh, didn't quite do everything I accomplished, but she's only got two wounds left, so she's really crippled. Uh, we did kill all the gene stealers. Kind of spread out a little bit. Get ready for those uh, rock saws. Um, flew the plane over there. The Dakajet kind of failed me. I was going to kill them. Uh, but it's looking okay. I'm pretty happy with the orcs right now. Nobody go anywhere because even though I am outnumbered, that doesn't mean that I'm outpointed because I'm going to tell you what, I still have a lot of expensive models on the board and I'm about to bring in 600 plus points ish. 490, 540, somewhere in that area. Almost a thousand points. A lot. I'm bringing in 2,000 points of reserves right now. I'm really good at math. Really good everybody, everybody knows this, that's but literally you might want to check your points. So, either way, G plan for this turn. Um, I am cracking. I can fall back and charge. I only have a four inch movement. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make sure that I can get his flamer in the best case scenario and then potentially smash into something smaller that isn't uh, as graceful as, as her. Also, I need all hands on deck. I am going to slingshot engage these two Ravengers over uh, over to the Broodlord from some, for some assistance. And it is finally time for the Rock Saws and Swarm Lord to get in. And instead of picking up this model, I'm going to kill every Orc boy in the center of this table. The time I have saved my one CP to uh, make sure that the rock saws come in where I need. So Primus, engage. So I have at least the five. Now I'm going to reroll these. Fishing for a six. I do not. So I pop up nine inches and get free D6 inch movement uh, closer to you. Oh my goodness, you want to talk about like skin of my teeth turn, like stuff either isn't happening, my flamers aren't working, some psychic abilities going off, some aren't. Either way, I ended up snap audible out because I didn't get the six. I want to talk about this for a second because the last time I left you, I said that I was going to go kill all these boys. Well, guess what's not going to happen? 
Um, I didn't roll a six. I couldn't find the movement that I wanted. I couldn't engage this unit. So I said the hell with it. Every little giblet that I have left in my knit army is trying to get dig this blue squad out. Um, while simultaneously, I was like, you know what? It's time to go kill Helga. So the rock saws are here. Um, I successfully casted Rage on them, so they're, or excuse me, uh, Might from below, so they have plus one strength, plus one attack. Here we go. I have eight rock saws with three attacks each in my hand. Hitting on twos. Um, Rerolling ones because I have a banner. That's six. Uh, is that one marker? Oh, sorry. There we go. All hit. I am now strength nine. Poor Helga. <sighs> That was pretty good. Wounding on threes. And now all of this is... Plus two to my save? Yes. Minus four to flat damage. So you don't get a save, right? No. All right. So that's 10. That's 20. That's 36 wounds. Bye-bye. I'm sad. I'm <laughs> sad. <laughs> oh, my goodness. The rock saws collapsed in there like swimwear so does she blow up how she, big she no it's super anticlimactic no wait a second wait whoa, 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 whoa. so you're telling me swarm lord blows up the hierophant blows up everything else this big graceful individual there's there's no mortal wounds going anywhere she literally like you ever seen like a calf lay down where they, like, yeah and she just lays there yeah this is done okay what about the guys inside uh yeah. <laughs> So you gotta roll dice for just however many models. There's two models. guys. The uh, give me a one. Us. Give me a one. No, there you okay. go. Uh, end of the good guys' turn. So uh, as you can see, there's some big models missing. Both uh, mine and Daniel's uh, Titans are down. Uh, Rock saws, like we, you guys saw, did their thug fizzle. Um, I was able to swarm lord, was able to kill, hit and kill five, which was just enough with a leadership check. Uh, over here he interrupted and killed a couple models, that's why uh, there's still a blue squad left, so that was kind of saddening. Um, we gotta weather the storm. The downfall with that rock saw unit is they look cool, they look beautiful, they have dangerous saws, but do you know what I really see? Uh, 15 guardsmen. Yeah. That's... With whatever unit he decides to look at them, they're dead. Um, so either way, I did come in. They did kind of get some of their points. Um, I am just running out of units, but we'll see uh, what happens. <laughs> so that was not nice. Him coming in with all them little saw people, sawing up my dinosaur, squigoth, whatever you want to call it. Um, so now the plan is we're going to address this. Uh, these move a lot faster than me, unfortunately. I would like to get some KMK shots on it, but Juice was smart enough to move him back so he won't be the closest even if I fall back. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to move this way, clean this up, and then kind of wait for all that to get there. And then again, the jet's just going to keep flying around, doing its little circle things. Uh, the luckiest jet of luckies. Pretty good turn for the Greenskins. Um, was able to just pound on them with the horde uh, again just like Juice says when they're left out in the open all they are guardsmen um, was able to get a charge off over here kill us kill the uh, broodlord broodlord uh, but we still have big nasty staring at me um, didn't really have any targets for the deck of jet and uh, we got these two little guys over here so it's looking pretty good so <laughs> it is looking bleak but um, I still have so many expensive units. This is the thing about the nids. Swarm Lord is untouched and has got, uh, it's worth 300 points. I've got the full 10 man or 5 man hive guard unit left. So the game plan right now is to kill the plane, kill some boys in that yellow, and let Swarm Lord crash in. Um, I really need to try to clean up as much as this possible. I do have two characters that are going to utilize this terrain um, and hide, 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 and get me my um, some secondary points. So, yeah, we'll see how the rest of this goes. Okay, so here we go. Instead of just crashing into some bodies and whatever else, I'm just not doing that anymore. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to try to peel off three or four characters. I'm going to... 
I just moved here. I'm going to try to smite, get myself feel no pain. Then I'm going to double move because I'm Swarm Lord. I'm going to end up charging all these guys. I got some cool stuff. But either way, first off, let's not get the cart before the horse. Let's cast Smite and some feel no pain. Smite. Ten. Try to stop it uh, with that guy. Nope. Not a, not a ten. Two damage. Two, so down to two. Alright, and then now a... Smi uh, excuse me, a catalyst. Seven. Feeling good? Try to stop it with that guy. Goes off. All right. Some of the plan is done. Also, I'm going to kick a random smite over the way to some of those Gretchen. Okay. Goes off on an eight. Okay. Three. Three yeah. Measly little Gretchen out of the way. All right. It's time. Slingshot engaged. Swarm Lord has leapfrogged, moved a billion inches, uh, double moved himself, and is now in combat with all three characters. So we're going to start out with the little ones. We're going to make this big, right? So um, I'm going one saber attack and uh, my tail attack into, um, excuse me, I actually only have to pick a person and declare my weapons. I actually can wait on my tail, is that right? Yeah, because you declare all I declare all six of my saber attacks, right? Yep. I declare those now. I've broken them up in such a manner. And then once I'm done swinging with that... D I no, you do have to declare all your weapons. All my attacks. So it's yeah. not like shooting, for example. Mm -hmm. Like I can pick into... Okay, so I will put... I don't like rolling one dice at anybody. So I am going to put the tail attack into the pain boy as well. Okay. So here we go. Pain boy. No ones. Okay, both hit. No ones. Okay. Pain boy is... Jibba dead. How many wounds? That is three. Minus three. And this is D3. Four total wounds. Can I roll three sixes? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I've seen it. No. Okay. One <laughs> character dead. Next. No ones. No ones. There we go. What's his toughness? Four. Four. Twos. No ones. This is a mortal wound plus six damage. No ones from my side. So seven? Yep. He He's gone. very dead. All right. No ones. I'm still calling it. Here we go. Get hyped. Big warlord. Big warlord. Get hyped. No ones. No. No ones. Thank you for the love of everything holy. Here we go. No ones one more time. I'll take a six. No ones. Oh, my dear Lord. Look at that. Swarm Lord just went in. That is a mortal wound plus nine. That is ten total wounds. Oof. Are you kidding me right now? Go ahead. Are you kidding me? Swarm Lord just went in. He's got four sabers and a tail. Three dead characters. Are you shitting me? I have never in the history of ever ran Swarm Lord and seen anything more glorious. I never have that, no, it's not on film or anything. It never that happened. is absolutely the internet will not allow us to lie. Guess what I'm also going to do? Um, I am going to uh, sit back and move right there. How, how many tags does this guy have? Uh, four. Four? Mm -hmm. Strength? Five. D3 damage or something? Two damage. Negative one, two damage. Um, I am going to lock him up. Why, why would you do that? So let's talk about it. This plane, I'm sick of shooting my high guard at planes. I'm starting to pick up boys. So went and killed five here and one blue one. So uh, I think Daniel, you picked up one or two more from failed leadership checks. Yeah. So that's good. Um, we're in the middle of the board now. Uh, Swarm Lord has got to live through. I want to set the tone. Um, I told him, I said, I don't have much fight left in me, but Swarm Lord just give, gave me a little bit of hope. So he, either way, here we go. He's got to live through some smites. He's got to live through three cannons and looks like four random power claws ish. Um, Swarm Lord, you can do it. You are now the brightest star in the universe. So we're gonna do some smites. I just know we're real quick. How do you feel? We we didn't get the mic in front of your face right there. What what just happened? You Let the people at know at home know. Don't worry. Don't bring about nothing else about this game. Don't you worry about nothing. Else. I just want to know your feelings right here. Did you see it coming? I, I did. I, I didn't, and um, I wish my pain boy had a plasma pistol. Yep. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Uh, pain boy felt the pain. You would say. Yes. All right. Where are you at? All right. So we're gonna do some smites here, and I'm actually, what I'm gonna do is he's gonna fall back, and then I'm gonna literally clump everything around you. So if I do blow my head off, it does mortal wounds to you as well too. So it's like a double smite almost. Uh, and then if you live through that, I'm going to shoot you with cannons. 
this plane. You hid your guys pretty well. I hid my guys very well. <laughs> they 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 found themselves a hole. He's just he's gonna keep doing circles. So. Oh, real quick, leadership check on those little Gretchen. Are they fearless? Dagon. How leadership did you kill? five. Three. Three. Leadership five. Lost another one. Why would you do that to me? That's right. That's right. It's like you hate your family or something. So uh, you guys have missed. <laughs> All, um, I was about to say Austin, I'm sorry. Uh, Daniel is not making it easy for me. The first caster went ahead, he rolled an 11. So he's plus one because of other guys and minus. So he did three wounds to himself. So all three casters are hurt. But now I'm about to take D6. Um, there's no way that I can try to stop that. I can try to deny two. I can't stop it. So either way, give me, give me some D6 damage. We'll just hope for low. Six. Three, three. not bad, feel no pains. One, two, and three. Got it? All right, we'll do the next one. He's got, uh, so plus one for him. So it goes to an 11, goes back down to 10, so it's only D3. Uh, how many other smites did you have left? Just two other psych abilities, right? Yeah, I have two more smites left. So that, that one plus one more, right? Right, yeah. Okay, so I mean, I have two, so I'm gonna try oh, okay. to stop sorry, it. Sorry. So boxcars, uh, didn't happen. Okay. So D3 more. Yeah. Cocked. Three. Save one. All right. I really want this guy to blow up. I want him to also. <laughs> uh, so last one is at negative three because I've cast two smites and then plus yours. So plus two goes to nine, minus three goes to a six. So it does not go off. Yeah, it does. Five, six, seven. You yeah, did a base seven cast of seven? I did the minus, that's the total minus three. So first smite and then two more, so that's minus two. Oh, and, and then, then with my minus one, yours, yeah. gotcha. So it goes off on a six. Okay, so here we go, I'm gonna try to stop it. <laughs> Does not, go ahead. <laughs> so this is how many more wounds, three more. Ooh, all right. Getting there. Oh, shoot. All right, so we'll do some cannons next. This cannon, D6 shots, six. Got some dice over here. Hitting on force. Uh, and uh, take a mortal wound because I rolled a one. Three hits. Toughness. Uh, toughness seven. Seven, so threes. So one at minus three. Good. Okay, the next cannon, four shots. Take a mortal wound, two hits. Two wounds. Two go through. So two D3, so five. Two. Two. And then the last cannon. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's rolled 14 with three cannons. He's an animal. Uh, two. There we go. Save, Save both. All right, well, I guess it's uh, up to the boys to do the damage. So I know Juice and uh, especially Kenny. Kenny's big on this dice app. Um, I, it got shown to me at ATC. I wasn't really big on it, but now... Shout out Jared Freeman. Yeah. <laughs> the sweetheart of 40K. Uh, the, the definitely New one, York of, cat lover. one of the coolest people. Um, so instead of spending all this time trying to pick out dice, count dice, it makes it a lot easier, especially when you have 84 attacks. So I'll show you how it works. So you change the rate of fire. You can go 1, 5, or 10. So you go 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then 1, 2, 3, 4. This button right here, you hold it down, and you let go whenever you want, and it rolls it. So right now, I need threes to hit the swarm lord, right? Yep. So press the three, and all the ones and twos go away. Toughness seven, strength four, so I need fives. So you hold this down. Sometimes they get excited. <laughs> and then click the fives, so 19 saves. Uh, 19 saves, yes, so um, go ahead and uh, 
Swing it. I need three. I have a three up uh, save. Okay. So it's uh, four. All right, it's and four then nine. give me a five up. Feel no pain. Okay. Uh, so with this, it's kind of you just do that and that, and then you just add one because there, there are five that went through, right? Uh, four that went four. through. Four. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Five up. Feel no pain. So save two. So you take two. Okay. Easy enough. Cool deal. See, it just saves so much time. So, I want you guys to know I was getting so... I gotta use it. Fucking excited. I was getting so excited. Da Daniel was down. He swung all these guys. All the, the... These guys, these guys. You saw everything. He was last to his last damn power claw. Um, you do one wound. I fail one save. You do two wounds, and I fail both feel no pain. So, Swarm Lord, I have to, I'm regrettably to say that he's dead. But we brought you in at the most opportune time because he lashes out. I rolled a six to lash out. This is epic. This is absolutely epic. So, the reason why it matters is how many characters are right there? Uh, three. <laughs> three characters. I absolutely love it. Um, here we go. They all take D3 mortal wounds. So the two that only have one wound left are dead. Uh, how about Hobo Baggins that's still alive? He's gone. Okay. How about how about Yellow Hobos? There they take three. You oh. want three? Oprah gives three around. <laughs> how about how about Red Squad? Three. Uh, one. It's a mad dying Swarm Lord. <laughs> Dude, I want you to know, Swarm Lord just killed three last turn. Kills three this turn in the death. So the reason why it's important, and remember guys, this is uh, ITC. I only have three units left, but I am amazing right now on secondaries. So I've, I mean, I'm gonna shoot some more triggers, gonna try to pick up some more guys, um, and we'll see what happens. So another decent turn, the Greenskins, the tide is getting low though. Um, the Swarm Lord came in and just, he did things. Uh, a lot of things, uh, but we did get them in the end. Um, it's going to take a while to get back there to them since someone took my ability to jump around the battlefield. Um, but we're just going to spread out and try to uh, take some objectives. So, again, ladies and gentlemen, I told you I never quit. I never, never, Goonies never say die. Okay? Words to live by. Chunk. Remember that. Tattooed on your back. Here we go. Hive guard. Got to pick up that unit. Going to try to also pick up that unit. It's all about kill. Who can kill more? Who can kill more? I am going to um, sacrifice a guy now to be on an objective. I got to get at least one of them. I need to get two kills in one. And then I'm going to send my Psyker over there to pick up that last little um, uh, grot. So that would be three kills. If he kills three units of my army, I'm dead. So I should be able to get kill more. Yeah. <laughs> so that's my goal. We're going to just try to wade this out for a second. So exactly what I wanted to happen. Um, I'm still holding strong. I killed these two units. Red Squad's holding strong. My uh, took an objective. And my one Psyker did kill that Grot. So simultaneously that killed a cannon. It did. It killed a cannon because there's nobody within three inches, right? So solid so far. So that's actually four. Does the Gr Gretchen and the Cannon count for a kill? Uh, yeah, they're two separate squads. So, so that is effectively four. That is unbelievable. Um, and I'm holding something. So racked up some ITC points. Um, Daniel, it's going to be top of five for you. Yeah, buddy. So we're going to try to take care of these little pesky hiding characters over here. This Decajet is going to fly over here and try to get one of them. Um, I'm probably going to take the minus one and move back and try to get another one. And I'm just going to spread these boys out, out of range of them, and just try to control a couple of objectives and uh, play the mission instead of taking the bait and running after them and getting shot up on the way there. So it was quick, but I almost got both the characters. The Dagajet kind of let me down. Um, it's sputtering a little bit, so it's okay. Uh, this cannon, on the other hand, did not let me down, just nuked the one. Uh, so trying to spread these out, didn't get a run move I wanted, but that's okay. Uh, control on this one, and uh, almost killed another character, so now I just gotta wait on the hive guard. 
Yeah, so down to two units. Uh, I, it was a very good turn on paper for me last turn. Um, now we're going to see if we can keep that up. With only one wound remaining um, and guys so close, it is time. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move up, going to charge, and shoot the hive guard there. So we might be able to do a little something here. We'll see. Wow. Talk about anticlimactic. I set this up, was touching terrain, getting a better save. Uh, pulled myself back just a little bit to get a, ignore a little bit of the overwatch, and I'd be damned if he doesn't roll one six, roll one wound, and I fail it. <laughs> I was really trying to, uh, I killed six on this side, was going to kill maybe like three more, uh, keep him from swinging too, too much back at me, maybe force a leadership check. Either way, that is it. At the end of five... And uh, either way, what an absolute amazing game. Oh, it, is, it is a whole lot closer than what the board looks right now. Um, we've got all the tally marks, but you guys know that uh, you don't get that information here. To find out all the juicy details about today's Beats Lab Battle Report breakdown, you got to head on over to longword.net. It's the home of all the battle, report, uh, battle reports where Daniel is going to also talk about his experiences with Helga, yeah. the dinosaur. Um, exactly how he feels about Storm Boys. We're going to use this time to really dive in, talk about orcs, because it, it doesn't usually happen that much here in the Beats Lab. So we're super, super excited. Guys, head on over there. You know where to go. Uh, Longworkswag.com. It gets all the freshest teas. Uh, you can't get a Hellfire Painting Studio tea here, but you can definitely get all the coolest Long War swag. Thanks, guys. Finally, the Long War swag is here. Longworkswag.com the official home of Long War merchandise. We've got a range of merchandise exclusive to the Long War brand, next level painting, and spiky bits. Definitely log in today while supplies lasts.